Welcome back to another video. Just as a quick recap, uh, I'm building a three phase variable voltage and current supply, uh, and I'm going to use that to be able to develop uh, energy metering devices and relays, um, different testing techniques, etc. All right, now to do this, I'm using a Arduino Uno, uh, which feeds a AD9851. Uh, which gives me a sine wave and then from that I've got it running around these cables into this circuit board. Now this circuit board then splits the phase three times each time at 120 degrees giving me a balanced three phase signal. Now this was made by PCBWay and I was able to go from breadboard to design and built within six days all the way from China to Australia that's faster than Australia Post at this moment so very good service comes from them there's a link in the description for PCB way from the three phase board it goes into power amplifiers now these power amplifiers are only 60 VA um, I have subsequently decided I'm going to go for 100 VA all right but from here it goes into three transformers. These three transformers are then commoned up in a star arrangement on the output side. So, well, it's really the input side, but I've turned them around. From there, I'm feeding an Arduino with a three-phase energy metering IC in it. That's available from Watnik. So there's a link in the description of where I got that from. He hasn't made some for a while, but... Uh, you can leave leave expressions of interest if you do want them. There's more there's more detail of each individual component in the video description, so you can find uh, different videos to different points down there. This is just the next stage of where I'm at. All right, now to monitor the output of each of of my devices, I have made this software. It's not finished yet. So you can see I've got three channels and a phaser diagram. Now, so from down here you can see um, a lot of these weird numbers. Then that's just noise. So we can go ahead and ignore it because I've got no current um, signals in there. It, it, everything, it sees some very low figures and that's all noise. Once this three phase supply is built, I can go back and work more on the energy meter and the GUI itself. It's just hard to work on all this stuff when you don't have a true three phase source. A couple of things I can do is adjust the voltage levels. So if I go to you know, 255. So I'll put the volts up so you can see my volts have now gone straight up. Now that's because I've got in the, um, the Arduino with the uh, function generator chip in it, the AD9851 digital potentiometer and that can control the levels, the voltage level you can see. Um, I can change frequency, so let's go 51. So you can see 51's come up here, changed it. But you can go to 60, but everything, so if I want to make a 60 hertz system, I can do that. What happens is the function generator chip is tuned, so if you wanted a 50 hertz system bang on, what you'd do is try and Tune it to 50. If you want a 60 bang on, you tune it to 60. And that actually goes with the um, energy metering IC2. That's designed for a 50 or 60 hertz system, but it has to have your settings. So when you start to deviate away, it doesn't read so well. So you just, just bear that in mind. If you wanted a super cool frequency at many different things, you'd have to have a separate frequency measurement system. If you want to see how all this hardware pans out, consider subscribing, because as I do with all my projects, all the code and hardware will be open source and be given away at the end. Thanks for watching.